So this question starts out by telling us that the stock price of one share in a certain company is worth $360 today. So I'm going to say share equals 360. A stock analyst believes that the stock will lose 28% of its value each week for the next three weeks. So it's going to go down by 28%. So minus 28%, and that's in week one. It's going to do the same thing for week two. So another minus 28%. And again for week three. So I could go on and find, well, what is the value at week one? What's the value of week two? What's the value of week three? But I want to make sure that I fully understand what this question is asking me to do before I put that work in. So the next sentence says, a stock analyst believes that the stock will lose 28% of its value each week for the next three weeks. The analyst uses the equation V, and again, I always write down in given, given equations, V equals 360 R to the T power to model the value V of the stock after T weeks. Okay, what value should the analyst use for R? Well, obviously the 360 is related to today's stock price. T has to do with the weeks. So the only thing left is the 28%. So then here's the question. And it's a very valuable question. So should R equal 28? Well, definitely not. Because on this test, percentages are always written as decimals. So at the very minimum, it should be 0.28. Second of all, by replacing R with 0.28, then I would be saying 28% of the 360. That's not actually what a decrease of 28% means, right? Because it's saying that if you start out with 100% of something, in this case, $360 share price, if you decrease that by 28%, what you're left with is 72% of the original, right? Right, so if I were to try to find out, well, how much money would I expect to have in week one? And this is where maybe doing this would be useful. I say, well, 360 times 0.72, right? Not times 0.28. And I can, I can get there by using 0.28, but then I'd have to do one additional step. So 360 times 0.72, I would expect to have 200 and I'll just write it here. $259.20. Um, 360 times 0.28, let's just do that math, is equal to $100.80. So that's definitely not what I'm left with when it goes down by 28%. That's how much it goes down. And that's where a lot of students are going to make a mistake on this question. right? A 28% decrease is really 72% of what you have. So given that understanding, what do I really want to multiply the 360 by every single week? It's going to be the 72%, right? So R should equal 0 0.72. That should be the correct answer for this one.